in this lecture we will be learning debugging a unit test so this is the part 3c of the current series on asp.net core testing playlist and by the end of this lecture we shall be able to know how to debug a unit test in asp.net core mvc sample project that we have taken and please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification icon to receive any updates when I do upload a fresh video and also share your video with your friends. Thank you and over to Visual Studio. Now for debugging, let me debug this uh, first test, you know, this is for the, which action method does it test? It tests the index get action method. So I will put the, I put the uh, breakpoint over here and what I will do now I'll click on this test and I will debug all tests. I'll click on debug all tests and then see what happens. So I've got a test explorer. Okay. So this text explorer is there and it is doing something. It's loading something and let it come back. So now after a few seconds, this test explorer, this debugger breakpoint is hit. Okay on this test project. So if you run through this debugger, if you go for F10 or F11, so you can see the various values on the uh, watch window or you know, just hovering your mouse over it. Okay. So if you see now mock repo, mock repo is null. Okay. Now it is getting set up F10 mock repo dot setup. It is uh, creating a, a calling the list async method and then the next line now the, here the controller is set up okay there's something controller object is not null and similarly if you now at the moment it's of not much use but if you run through this uh, with the f10 or f11 then you can come to the point where you have got this model okay so all we are doing with the remember with the mock framework or with the mock uh, object okay so here you can see the current is null results view so you've got two objects okay so date created this particular date id1 id account 0 and name is test1 okay and similarly you've got another model test2 now where do they come from now they come from this method actually get sessions method so that is not a test actually this is a method which returns a list of brainstorm session and you've got two sessions added over here on the in memory collection now remember i have told you in the previous lecture that this project samples project doesn't use a database real database but it uses the in memory collection of the entity framework core all right so now if you run if you continue click on continue and you can see model dot count there will be it should be passing the test because there is a there are two models already that i have shown you uh, if you just browse the if you just scroll through with f10 again hitting the f10 so model dot count what is the model count uh, there are two there is two counts okay uh, result because zero and one that is what i have shown it's coming from this get test session. Now, if you click on continue, let's see what happens. See here, the test explorer comes back again. And this test we were running, this is the highlighted test index returns a view result with a list of brainstorm session and it has passed, right? Green tick. So that's great. We have just learned how to debug a unit test through the Visual Studio Debugger.